Well, hello everybody. Um, let me see. I hope my dashboard is on. <laughs> okay. I wanted to share with you this video from um, uh, this young man. His name is um, Quesadilla de Verdades. Very interesting uh, video that he did, which totally, um, I totally share with him uh, the uh, ideas uh, regarding uh, his thinking on this. Uh, and and uh, apparently the rest of the world. Um, I, I can. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm also going to be answering messages because this is live. Um, and so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put on um, his video, and I want to share with you also uh, some of the notes regarding this matter. Okay. So, um, let me go ahead and put this on. Ecuador, Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, Brazil, y Mexico. El mi so, um, he said Ecuador, Brazil, Chile, Guatemala, uh, Panama. <laughs> well, problema. and Mexico have the same or had the same problem. Uh, which is neoliberalism. Alismo, privilegios, privatizaciones. Uh, privileges, privatization. Crecimiento con retroceso. So it's growth with uh, um, returning backwards or going backwards at the same time. La diferente solución, so the different solution is Mexico con un nuevo líder. Mexico with a new leader Idealista, that is an idealist and a pacifist. Vista, Andrés Manuel López Obrador. He's Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Quien logró una revolución that gained a revolution sin un solo puño, sin una sola bala. without a single uh, blow and without a single bullet. Y este es el video que manda él como mensaje a toda Latinoamérica que está trascendiendo. And this is the video that he sent uh, to the world that is transcending. En todo el continente que the whole continent. Incluso algunos líderes. That also and including some leaders. Como el expresidente de Ecuador, Rafa. Like the ex-president of Ecuador. El Correa. Rafael Correa Han replicado el día have replicated de hoy, como, uh, today's uh, video lo pueden ver en esta imagen, as you can see behind me in this image. Que está aquí, y es que Andrés Manuel López Obrador, it's that Andrés Manuel López Obrador se ha posicionado, has positioned himself como un gran líder en, as a great leader en toda América in all of Latin America Latina para esta gran transformación. for this great transformation Aunque no solo va a ser para México. that will not only be for Mexico Sino para todo el continente. Lo es. but instead for the whole continent Estamos viendo en Chile, como es que and we are seeing how in Chile hay una gran crisis donde el pueblo there is a great crisis where the people y ya se está revelando are rebelling Ante el gobierno de Piñera. against the government of Piñera. ¿Quién? Este señor se está riendo, se está... And this man, he's laughing. He's laughing at them. La he's laughing at the repression que les está haciendo... that he is inflicting a la gente. literally on the people. Lo que sucedió en Ecuador, ah, and what occurred in Ecuador hace algunos días, dos, a few days ago the people triumphed a because they went out to manifest sí. y que esa and they what they gained was that, that uh, economic uh, political economics que los iba a ahogar, los iba a... that was going to drown them de... that was going to impoverish them some uh, impoverish them more Manera brusca. in a brutesque way no traspasara. It, they didn't allow it to happen. Es decir, les habían metido un paquete económico. 
That is to say that they had placed upon them an uh, economic packet. Where they were going to have to be paying more for gas. Por los víveres, for uh, life uh, livelihood. Y por todos los servicios. And for all services. Y pues el ex -presidente, and then, so the ex-president, as we can see here, uh, Rafael Correa, sacó esto, ¿no? que dice, put this out, which says, sí, es de el it's time to change the economic model that's been imposed over decades uh, among, uh, for the people and the government of Latin America and the world. It has, um, uh, I had the word there, it has ex been exhausted and it has resulted in total failure. Que se impuso durante décadas para pueblos y gobiernos de América Latina y del mundo. Está agotado el llamado modelo económico neoliberal. Ha resultado un fracaso y ponen a Andrés Manuel López Obrador como mensaje, el mensaje que mandó el día de hoy. ¿Qué vamos a ver? And they put on there uh, as uh, the message that uh, man, uh, Obrador, AMLO, put on today. Ver el video a continuación. Cheque. And you can see the video as we go. So today we commemorate the creation, uh, 74th uh, creation of the United Nations in New York. And today the uh, Secretary of Defense, Luis Crescencio Sandoval, ratifica la, el compromiso de México de ratified the com uh, commitment of Mexico and the military uh, force de para la paz to cooperate with peace la and internal uh, national security. En ese sentido, and in that sense, Mr. President, de, de, de es para so what do you think the Achilles heel is Latina, for Latin America? De los pueblos que hoy viven, pues, uh, for the people that now live in uh, many different places. And I would like to know what your opinion is over the matter. Bueno, es una general, well, it's a general opinion respetuosa. that's respectful. Yo creo que es, eh, I believe that it is time De cambiar el modelo. to change the model Económico que se impuso. that economic model which was imposed Durante décadas. for decades Para pueblos y gobiernos for towns and governments de América Latina y de of Latin America and of the world. Está, eh, it has been exhausted. El the so-called economic uh, model neoliberal. Ha un it has resulted in a total failure. Entonces, so therefore, los gobiernos, the governments, oh, sorry, my nose is itching, que no a cabo that do not uh, take into effect cambios, changes y siguen, and continue con las mismas políticas, with the same politics. will confront problems Con sus with their people or they'll come face to face with uh, problems with their people or nation ya la gente no más because the people don't want sacri to sacrifice anymore solo para
El beneficio de minorías. Only for the benefit of minorities. Es muy injusto. It is very unjust. Toda la política privatizadora. All the uh, uh, privatizing politics. Fue un fracaso. Was a failure. Solo benefició a pequeñas minorías. It only benefit a uh, small minority. Empobreció a millones de seres humanos. And it impoverished millions of human beings. Por eso for that reason, Los movimientos the movements de rebeldía, de of uh, rebelling and nonconformity uh, we, our people, wise, supo did know entender. and did know how to understand. Que era el momento de cambiar esa política. That it was the time to change that politics. Y eso lo expresó el año pasado. And that's what they expressed last year. En las urnas, de manera masiva. In the polls, in a massive way. Y estamos llevando a cabo and we are taking into effect Una a transformation in, forma pacifica. in a peaceful way or manner. Y se está demostrando que se puede. And it is being demonstrated that it can be done. Llevar a la práctica Una política diferente. To take into practice a new uh, type of politics, different type of politics. Que si es posible. That it is possible. Llevar a los hechos una política. To take into action a type of politics que tome en cuenta a todos. That takes everyone into account. Los mexicanos. That is all the Mexicans. Que el gobierno no sea faccioso. That the government not be factious. Que el gobierno no esté al servicio de... That the government not place itself at the service of... Grupos de intereses creados created interest groups que el gobierno y que se ponga por delante that the government uh, put the people ahead of themselves el bienestar del pueblo or the well-being of the people eso es lo que da gobernabilidad that is what gives you governability eso es lo que permite la paz social that is what permits social peace. Esa es mi reflexión. That is my reflection. Afortunadamente, and fortunately, eh, esto eh, se viene eh, entendiendo, aceptando. This is coming to be understood and accepted Por todos los gobiernos. by all the governments. En el caso de Ecuador, In the case of Ecuador, supieron dar marcha atrás a la medida. They knew uh, how to take a step backwards de aumentar el precio de los combustibles. by uh, increasing the price of combustibles. Claro. 
no solo por eso. But Fue also, not only Pero for esto, that reason was the manifestation. Es lo que provoca el que se desate. But that is what provoked the uh, untying. La inconformidad. Of in, a nonconformity. Pero de dónde viene eso de aumentar? But the where does it come uh, to uh, raise the price of combustibles? It comes from that same politics. Claro. Del viejo from the old regimen. De la ortodoxia. From the orthodoxy. Del modelo neoliberal of the uh, neoliberal model. Yesterday I was telling you, and then this part is where he mentions um, uh, Claudio X. Gonzalez, um, uh, where he says, I was going to say something yesterday. Um, this is what he held back that he didn't say at that time. And it's uh, regarding uh, Claudio X. Gonzalez. Uh, a, uh, it's a perverse, influential uh, uh, person that participated in the f electoral f uh, fraud of 2006 and in December uh, of 2012. He recommended to the government that they increase uh, gas prices from 10 to 20 pesos per liter. And they listened to him. And now he's asking the EPN uh, that he wa uh, wants to rob, uh, um, that, oh, that robbed the presidency from us. Oh, el video de Andrés Manuel, sin antes poner esta pausa, porque lo que dice enseguida tiene mucho que ver con esto. Andrés Manuel, en enero del 2018, si no me equivoco, fue el 3 de febrero del 2018, a un poquito antes de las campañas, denunció esto, que el mismísimo Claudio X. González... So this was uh, uh, announced by the president himself while he was in his campaigns uh, before he became president. Es perverso e influyente. Participó Which is what I just said. electoral del 2006 y en el diciembre del 2012... Recomendó, esto es lo, lo importante, recomendó, no recomendó, impuso. Él fue el que hizo que se aumentara la gasolina. He was the one responsible for the increase of gas prices in Mexico. Y en México, Claudio X. González, imagínense todo el poder e influyentismo que... So imagine all the power and influentialism that this man had. Tenía este señor, le dijo a Peña Nieto, su... So he told Peña Nieto, to raise the prices. And to this day, the price of gas is at 20 pesos. And right there where it says he was asking EPN, that's Enrique Peña Nieto, which is the previous president, um, and that he, he did um, listen to him. Así como lo dijo Claudio Ito González, como se lo ordenó a Peña Nieto, Entonces, el que tuvo la culpa de todo, en realidad fue Claudio X. González. So, he was responsible for all of it. Y aquí mismo hay una nota que dice, propone iniciativa privada subir. So, here they have a note, and it says, uh, they propose to increase um, the prices of gas. And it says, um, uh, the sector, private sector, uh, uh, gr raise the gas prices um, as a, me a measure to obtain more resources to implement uh, and to uh, let's see to impact um, Mexico. La gasolina y el mismo Andrés Manuel ya lo había denunciado ya lo and he had already let the people know when he was um, running in his campaign. Lo ha dicho es increíble. Que por culpa de un, un, un 
<laughs> he, he wants to say a bad word, but he says, it's incredible that because of the fault of one <laughs> man, <laughs> one person, well, just one person, more than 120 million Mexicans have had to endure el aumento de las gasolinas. the increased prices of gasoline, el aumento de este combustible. the increase of this combustible que tanto nos cuesta a los that cost is so expensive for us, Mexicanos, for the Mexicans, day to day, suben todos los productos. because as the price of gas went up, all the products went up. Porque todo se transporta because everything, everything is transported por vehículos by vehicles using gasoline de combustión interna, amigos y amigas. of internal combustion. Esto es sumamente preocupante. And this is extremely uh, worrisome Solamente un solo, una sola persona tuviera tanto poder como that only one person would have so much power para hacer que subiera la gasolina. Cheque lo que to cause the prices of gas to go up. And yesterday I was telling you that I was going to comment on something over some person. I'm not going to say who. What person? But I have information and it is a matter of public record and dominion and if you want to investigate it that a very influential person someone empowered recommended Al gobierno pasado, to the previous government que aumentara al doble la gasolina, that he doubled the price of gas el precio de la gasolina, the price of gas México. in Mexico Esto casi al inicio. that nearly at the beginning of his term de el pasado gobierno. of the previous creen? government and what do you think? Le hicieron caso. He listened to him. Hagan la cuenta. Do your accounting. De cuánto costaba la gasolina. How much gas used to cost. Al inicio. At the uh, initiation. De el pasado gobierno. Of the previous presidential term. Y cuánto terminó costando. And what it uh, wound up uh, being at the end of his term. Al final del gobierno. No, eso ya investigan ustedes. And he says, well, who is it? And he says, well, you've got to investigate it. See, because in his power, in his uh, position as president, he can't be naming names like that. Yes. Pero lo que quiero decir es aquí en México. But what I do want to tell you is that Porque here in Mexico, esa mentalidad because that mentality era la que prevalecía. is what prevailed. Resuelve el problema it would resolve de the problem públicas. of public finances. Ten más presupuesto. They would have more budget. Aumenta la gasolina. Raise the prices. Aumenta el precio de la gasolina. Ra raise the gas prices. And that's it. That's the message. That's the message from Andres Manuel uh, of how one person had so much power that was able to cause the price of gas to go up so much. And in that way, affect all the Mexican people. So for the more than 120 million Mexicans that 
all of us that live in this country. Siete millones, amigos, amigas. Es he said actually 127 million. Increíble. It is incredible, my friend. Que Manuel, inter the message that the president is sending also. Nacional, fuerte, trascendente. That is uh, strong, transcending. Contundente. Contundente. That's an interesting word. Well, I don't know. It means something strong. <laughs> y con ese mensaje, Andrés Manuel se está posicionando como líder. And with that message, Andrés Manuel is positioning himself as a leader. De toda América Latina. Of all Latin America. Ya, ya habíamos visto que Andrés Manuel. And yes, we had already seen that Andrés Manuel. Ya era un líder grande. Was already a great leader. De toda la región. Of the whole region. Pero ahora estamos viendo cómo es que se está consolidando. And now we can see how he is being consolidated. Amigos, amigas, yo soy CRM, les reporte para que se de verdad les digan ustedes qué piensan sobre este video, digan ustedes qué piensan sobre este tema. So he wants to know what you think about the video and the matter. And um, it would be great if you guys would like and subscribe. If you want to see more channels translated to English, uh, go to English Amlovision channel and you'll see the link in the uh, description. And also, I believe I put the link in the description for uh, this video if you want to watch it in Spanish. Um, and then also, I believe the link is in there for the uh, actual conference, which was the conference of um, today, I believe. Today or yesterday's conference um, that was live uh, at the uh, Palace of Mexico. Thank you very much. Please send me messages because that gives me the most joy, answering your uh, messages and comments. Have a great day. Bye.